Hey guys, Kyle Dittman here, Bullion RV, Duluth, Minnesota. And today we've got another used unit for you here. It is a 2013 Gray Wolf. It is a 26 BH. It's a no slide unit. Just came in on trade, so we're gonna take you on the outside. We'll get you inside and we'll see what you think. So I'm gonna start you right up front. I um, really like the colors on this one. You got blues and reds and some dark grays. So um, right up front, you got your rock guard right down here. Um, as you can see, there are some brackets on here, so this one does come with the equalizer hitch sway bar that is included in the deal. Got a couple 20 pound tanks on here. You got a crank on this one. You got your battery in your battery box living right down there. Um, we'll back you up and kind of show you some of the nice blue, white, red. Again, like I said, no slides on this unit. So lock you down. A lot of great windows on both sides of it. Got your vent up here for your microwave, your refrigerator. You got hot and cold water out here for a little shower. You got your dump station right in the back. Really convenient. You got your sweet skull crossbone license plate cover. I'll leave that there for whoever purchases it. I thought about taking it, but that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave it there for you guys. You got a rack on the back with your spare tire for some bikes, generator, extra coolers, whatever you want to throw back there. It's really nice. Come around the campsite of the camper here. You're going to notice a lot of big windows. Window up top of the top bunk, window of the bottom bunk. You got under storage um, under the bottom bunk here. Under the awning, you got a couple convenience lights. Uh, the big light up there. You do have a spot for to put your TV outside if you wanted to. You got outdoor speakers, dual axle. Uh, the tires on here look really good. No cracking, no wearing, a lot of life left in those tires as well. Power outside, down here. Really nice grab handle. Dry weight on this unit, you're looking at 4,600 pounds, just a little over 4,600 pounds, half ton towable, especially with that sway bar and equalizer hitch, gonna really take care of it for you. We'll bring you up front. And so, I'll kind of show you that. It's living right in here. You got your big hitch, the bars, everything in here. You got your storage up under here, crank downs, and then up front, you also have an LP quick connect down here, so if you wanna hook up a grill outside. Um, this does have a little damage on the awning arm. I want to kind of point it out to you. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a dent. Uh, the customer said a tree fell and hit that. It doesn't affect the awning going in and out, but it definitely is there. So we want to point that out and show it to you there. Kind of give it a couple of looks. See so it has that little dent up there. Um, other than that, it is in really good, clean condition. So moving on up, like I said, the big grab handle. Moving in here, for something small with no slides, you can really sleep a crew. You can put two up on the bed up front. Got a lot of wardrobe space up here. And you got overhead storage. And then this does pass all the way through. You can put some longer items in there. Um, and then you do have storage on this side. Nice wardrobe. You can see a little cubby. In the back over there, you got power and a light, maybe a CPAP machine if you need to over there. And then you got power and a little desk over here as well. This does have a curtain that you can pull across for some privacy. Kind of just give you a little extra privacy on that one. Nice couch, let's see if we can do this one handed. This will just jackknife, kind of like a futon. Drop that down. Fit a couple kids or one adult on that unit there. And then your table drops down as well for another sleeping area. Big beautiful window at the table. Look at the campfire, keep an eye at the kids. Whatever you got going on out there. Like I said, ton of windows. Good kitchen space. Under the sink storage. Three burner cooktop with a little oven. Overhead storage in here as well. And then you got your storage here. And that does tuck on both sides, so. 
good storage in there. You got storage above the dinette. Comes with a little TV. The refrigerator looks clean. Two way gas electric fridge. The sink for the bathroom is out, so you kind of got two sinks out here, which is kind of nice if you think about it. Um, you can do a couple different prep stations, or you know, someone's in the bathroom, you just need to wash your hands, brush your teeth, you can kind of utilize that. So, really nice big sink. Um, manuals and stuff are all in there. Another little storage spot under it. Nice medicine cabinet above. And then back in the bunk area. Um, Looks like those lights may be burnt out, but you do this top bunk, smaller top bunk with a window up there, a little storage. Then you have your bottom bunk. Again, another adult, couple kids. Um, let's see. Try to pop this off. Nice little extra storage drawer. You know, just something neat and convenient. I haven't really seen that, so that's kind of a neat little feature right there. You do got power up there as well. And then, let's see. Oh, so there's just power, kind of plug-ins on the top one. Move back into the bathroom. Got a fan back here. Toilet. Shower with like a little tub if you want. A little skylight. So, not the biggest bathroom, but it does work. You know, said a nice little smaller unit like this. Um, I like how I put the sink out here to kind of give you the most space in the bathroom and another section here. So, kind of give you a pan all the way from the back. A lot of room. Like I said, no slides, which is going to keep down on the weight of this unit. Also, one less moving part that you have to worry about. So, great, you know, starting camper, um, you know, for those areas where. You know, you're kind of a tight squeeze and don't know if you can get the slide out. Um, smaller vehicles kind of can tow this thing. Just a lot of great options with this camper here. You can really bring a crew. Most of the time you're going to be spent outside anyway, but if you need to come inside, this does kind of um, take care of all that as well. So, again, 2013 uh, Grey Wolf. It's a 26BH is the model on it. Just came in. We're cleaning it up. Uh, my name again is Kyle Dimon. I'm here with Bullion RV. You can text or call me anytime at 218-740-4964. Um, love to help you out, see what we can do. We got a ton of inventory coming in. Camping season's just around the corner. Um, I'll do whatever I can to earn your business, help you out. Give me a call. Talk soon.